I've always grew up in a Christian home with my parents. Um, and as I grew up and graduated high school and got married and had three boys, we raised our kids in church. We were always in church. We'd been together since our junior year in high school. So a lot of things happened between the 20 years that we were together and things didn't work out. So we ended up getting a divorce. In 2008, um, my mother fell ill with brain tumors and um, she ended up passing away. And I uh, met someone who also, his mother was suffering from brain tumors as well. We ended up getting married and he was ad addicted to opiates. And um, one day when he went to a friend's house, that friend just happened to be doing methamphetamines and which my husband engaged in and got addicted. So it caused a lot of problems between the two of us. And uh, I kept telling him that, you know, he needed to quit and, you know, this was not okay with me. But then one day he asked me how or why I hated it so badly. And I didn't know because I had no idea anything about methamphetamines, any drug um, at all, except for what I had seen on television. And um, so he asked me if, or mentioned, you know, that I should just try it to see what, you know, what it was all about. If I didn't know anything about it, I should get to know something about it before I could, you know, judge it course my inner instinct was absolutely not I uh, I agreed to try it I really didn't think that it changed me much and until people started noticing a difference in me I didn't notice a difference in me but other people was noticing a difference in me I think my sister was the one that really found out that uh, you know something was off but once my kids found out um, they uh, completely withdrew out of my life. And with losing my kids, uh, losing my home, losing my husband, I, uh, I continued to do meth to cope with all of that. Um, one year turned to two, two years turned to three, four, five years. I got really sick. Um, my, my friend got sick with COVID and I got really sick with COVID to the point where I was hospitalized. I got a call from a friend of mine that I used to go to church with and was wondering uh, what was going on. And uh, I told her about my situation and uh, told her I'd been sick and uh, that I've been struggling with methamphetamines. And um, she was at the time living at God's Resort. And uh, she gave me the number to them and, and I called immediately. So they gave me the number to Juliet. And uh, I called Juliet. The very next day around two o'clock, Juliet came and picked me up and uh, got to the program and didn't have no idea what I was coming into. We learned Bible scriptures. Uh, every day or every week and um, started hearing God's voice again. I stayed still and quiet and just let God do whatever he was going to do with me. And about four months into the program, uh, my kids had got a hold of me and um, it had been five years since I had seen him. I missed high school graduation. I missed wedding. Um, but he he pulled up into Juliet's driveway and uh, he got out of the car and he just wrapped his arms around me. He kissed me right on the lips and just told me how much he loved me. He was beautiful. And so um, he took me home and where my other two boys were waiting there at his house for me and they too hugged me so tight and just told me how good I looked and 
they didn't want to talk about anything. They just said, you know, hey, we, we just want to start from right here. Uh, I ended up graduating Juliet's program and she had asked me if close to the end of my graduation, if I wanted to be house manager. No, no, no. I'm, I'm good. I don't want to be house manager. Jesus asked Peter three times, you know, do you love me? And three times Julia asked me, you know, do you want to be house manager? And I felt like, you know, at that time, God was really asking me, you know, telling me, I think it's a good idea if you stay. And um, I decided to stay for another year. It's already been almost six, it's been six months since I graduated. So I've been restoring my relationship with my children and uh, I've restored my relationship with the Lord. I mean, this is not a story that I wanted to have, but I know that God takes bad things and turns them in for the good, and, and uh, that's what I'm hoping to do. I'm hoping to, you know, take what has happened in my life and turn it into something good and help these girls as much as I can and be a good example until the Lord returns. Serve Him. I mean, I don't have any other desire but to serve the Lord and to uh, see what he has in store for me next. Um, and I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait and see. I'm not going to... just going to keep my eyes on him. <laughs>